I'm here today at the IPS building, that's the Institute of Policy, Policy Studies, right? And to, to, uh, with me is uh, Dr. Arun. Just plain Arun. Okay, plain Arun. <laughs> and Han Tan Hao. Hi. Hi. And Elaine. Yeah, yeah, Elaine Fu. Elaine Fu, okay. So I just have, it's a bunch up together. Yeah. I just have like uh, cursory questions. What is IPS about? Uh, could you just give me like a quick spiel about it? Well, uh, very short. The uh, think tank focused on policy issues concerning Singapore. That's what we do mostly. Okay, and I understand it used to be called the Lee Kuan Yew. No, no, no. The Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy is a completely separate I and see. different entity. It used to share this building. Yeah. The other wing was their home. Now I they see. have moved over to the uh, Bukitima campus. And that belongs to uh, NUS, National University of Singapore. Mm. IPS is an independent, uh, standalone entity. Mm. Okay, um, maybe I could ask Fantan Hao here, what does IPS do, or as in, what what do you guys do on a daily basis? Really? Well, uh, we do three things. Uh, we do research uh, uh, on government policy. We analyze uh, the policy, and sometimes we give recommendations to government. Okay. We also act as a bridge between uh, the various stakeholders in Singapore, uh, business, academia, okay. uh, civil society, and then government. So we organize talks, we organize discussions. Then we also do some research on basic issues like, you know, uh, Arun and I are doing a, a book on the freedom of speech on the internet. Mm -hmm. So that's like more basic research, you know. So those are things we do. And uh, I understand from all of you just now that you're actually inviting academics to send in papers as well, right? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we are always on the lookout for any kind of uh, research, uh, any kind of commentary on Singapore, Singapore policy issues. So we would be more than uh, grateful to uh, you know, interact with people who have an active interest in uh, Singapore policy issues. I see. And another point that, uh, in terms of what IPS do, uh, does, in addition to analysis, we also uh, see ourselves as bridge builders um, between the various uh, constituents. We have uh, the public sector, the private sector, and the civil society. So we see ourselves as a neutral platform where uh, people interested in Singapore policies can come together and exchange ideas. Sounds good. So how do you think uh, IPS will be reaching out to, say, academics or even social political bloggers out there? Well, the, the first and easiest uh, channel uh, for our outreach program is our website. Mm -hmm. uh, you go to www.ips.org.sg, you have access to almost all the basic information about IPS, the staff and their research interests. Secondly, we do publish uh, not uh, a great deal because much of the work that we do tend to be on a commission basis or for restricted uh, circulation. But we do have books and this, uh, the list of books and reports that are available for public consumption is also found on the website. Mm. And thirdly, uh, like what we did today you know, with you, is a, a direct face-to-face uh, you know, -face interaction. And we have a number of occasions where we bring in small groups of people for discussions. And that has, uh, in, in a way, been uh, uh, the most uh, 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 you know, interesting and uh, productive uh, engagement because we have a dialogue. Okay. We also have a, a newsletter. You can subscribe to it. Anybody can subscribe to it. And then the other thing that we do is whole uh, discussions. Uh, so, for example, uh, last year we had a discussion on the racist bloggers and uh, what kind of response uh, uh, the government should take, uh, let's say, if you wanted to do something other than to use the sedition laws. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, I would say that we invited quite a number of bloggers uh, we sent out a letter to the bloggers, but unfortunately very, very few came. So I don't know whether it's uh, shyness or publicity or, or some other reason. But, you know, uh, we hope that when we uh, have discussions and uh, ask you guys to come, that you guys can come in because, you know, what you do is uh, interesting and important and certainly can contribute to uh, what we are trying to do here, which is to improve government policy. Okay. Now, 
Perhaps, do you have anything more to add about IPS or? Well, uh, as uh, Tanhao said, the most important thing is uh, interaction and we are open for any kind of uh, discussion. It is not, as uh, some people might think that this is not a government run or a government controlled think tank. It is open to a frank, robust, but collegial dialogue mm. of issues that really concern us Singaporeans. Mm. I can vouch for that, but what, what does Elaine think? After our <laughs> conversations with them, do you think it was as open as you had hoped? or? Um, well, I hadn't come today with very specific questions because I was going to meet them <laughs> on Monday. Okay. So it was interesting, the things that I was hearing, um, but perhaps you know when I actually ask more specific questions, then I might be able to find out. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. That's good so far. Yeah, yeah. I find it's yeah. been a very, very open conversation, very enlightening. Um, perhaps we could end off by just asking, okay, what is your dangerous idea? There's something that I read about, you know, we were talking about just now, that is, what do you think uh, you'd like to happen or see as happening, but can't really prove right now? Well, I, I think the most important thing from for me, uh, as far as Singapore is concerned, we mustn't be afraid of ideas. In fact, I think even this notion there is a dangerous idea, I don't think any idea is dangerous. Okay, that's bold. Okay, I'll go on to you and what do you I think? Well, <laughs> I suppose my dangerous idea is for uh, the bloggers, uh, because you, know, you are given uh, uh, a space uh, which is uh, unprecedented in Singapore to think of dangerous ideas yourself and to do uh, to carry out those ideas uh, and, and sort of in a way going out going out of your comfort zone okay uh, I think that's more that's more uh, going out of your comfort zone is one thing yes but not in I guess not intentionally going out cause malice but more like to dare to actually do no uh, I, I think that uh, we uh, one of the problems uh, with the discourse uh, of about ideas in Singapore is that if you don't agree with us that means you have a bad agenda or you're out to destroy us you know rather than to see it as hey you know I think differently let's talk so uh, I don't think that uh, I subscribe to the idea that people who disagree with you are out to get you. Okay, that they are all part of the bigger picture. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I mean, it's marketplace. My uh, marketplace of ideas. Yeah. Do you have anything to add to that? Or? No, that's well said. Okay. Then, then I have Elaine mm -hmm. share her dangerous idea. I mean, she, you're working on a thesis or trying to work on a thesis right now, yeah. right? And what's it about? It's on um, the internet. Uh, the space of the internet for civic participation and uh, how people deliberate and discuss ideas and how that enables civic awareness and what people do about it, whether or not they participate in decisions that affect them and their society. Okay, what are you hoping to achieve out of the paper? What's well, that? pretty much what um, Tan Hao was saying about how people think through things and dare to make their opinions known and try and create the kinds of changes that, you know, um, that they hope to happen in their society. So mm. that, yeah. okay. It's not my original dangerous idea, but it's yeah, We're it, all it's an idea. Towards the same goal, yeah. I see. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. So I'll catch you next time. Yeah. Thank you. It is a real uh, pleasure uh, to have met with you, Kevin. Oh, with no problem at all. Thank you all. Thanks, okay. Thanks. Bye bye. bye, -bye.